The Honors College gives you the opportunity to work with people who are extremely motivated, extremely intelligent. They were really going to make an effort for me to get involved in some undergraduate research. There's the benefits of a smaller classroom, um, and not, not only that, it's, it's the, the caliber of students that are in that class. I'm really interested in the ways in which public policy can be changed to be more inclusive of different marginalized people. So it seemed like kind of a perfect intersection of the politics and the civil rights advocacy work. I feel like I'm well prepared to do the kind of work that I want to do and I'm anxious to get out and start doing it. I think the Honors College has helped by just giving me the flexibility to combine different areas, different academic areas in the university. I was able to combine my interest in law with my degree in engineering, and now I'm considering a career in environmental law. I've always been motivated to see Penn State achieve the level of the Ivy Leagues in terms of education and preparing the student for the competitive world they're going out into. And I believe that the Honors College has not only uh, uh, succeeded in becoming as good, but in many ways to getting more out of it than they would get in an Ivy League school. I looked at some Ivy Leagues and some other top-notch schools and I got into some of them, I didn't get into others and really Penn State made the grade because it offered the same faculty interactions as an honors student that these other schools did and I was also very interested in the undergraduate research opportunities which I don't know if I really would have had at other schools. Those familiar with the Honors College are definitely familiar with the high quality of students in the program. A lot of companies will come to Penn State looking specifically for Shriers Honors College students and professors are familiar with it as well. So I think they are definitely understand what it means to be an Honors College student at Penn State. I get to not only see students succeed and do well and achieve their dreams, but I get to help them do it. And that's much of what Schreier Honors College is all about. And one of the great strengths of Penn State University is the wide breadth as well as depth of opportunity for study for our students. And so it means that uh, when you look for a university, find a place that will allow you to grow. So if you change your mind and you decide that chemistry is not for you, but medieval church history is, because not only is each student individual and different, but topics of interest grow and develop and change. I think one of the best things about the Shire Honors College is that it gives you such a wide range of experiences. As a biology and biochemistry major, uh, not only did I learn everything about you know, molecular biology that you need to know to work in a lab, but I also got to go to Costa Rica for a tropical ecology class. I was in a field ecology class where you learned all about uh, experimental design and ecology and the Pennsylvania uh, habitats that I really feel like that you can explore uh, anything you really want to. One of the best advantages or opportunities I've had as an honors student was the ability to go to India last summer. Uh, the Honors College set up uh, a class which involved studying globalization and really learning about the economy of India and we were able to set that up and it was an amazing opportunity. A typical honors course at uh, Trier Honors College is very small in size, no more than 25 students, with other honors students and with our best teaching faculty. And so it's a, an opportunity not just to cover the material, but to go deeper. Just writing my thesis has been a really big benefit. Uh, I was an, a very involved activist on campus for three years, so I chose to write my thesis about the topic that I was really interested in, which was gay rights. So I've gotten to sort of be an activist, but from a different kind of level than I was ever able to do before. I knew I wanted to do undergraduate research. I wanted to be a part of science and really contribute to all the things we're finding out. So Dr. Cameron studies different positive stranded RNA viruses. And so what I'm doing is I'm studying a protein that poliovirus creates in order to help itself replicate. The honors thesis is really the capstone of the scholar's experience uh, at Penn State. It is an opportunity for the student to engage in original research, to delve deeply into their field of interest, and it's their opportunity to, to go where their intellect, their interests, their skills lead them. One of the unique things about Schreier Honors College in Penn State is that there's the opportunity for the students to actually even in, engage in a thesis outside of their major. <laughs> 
The great thing about being an honor student is you immediately get that anchor. A small group, um, a small core of professors, and you can anchor yourself um, to that. And you can actually exist in many ways within that group uh, should you choose to do so. But you can really survive uh, by building those relationships. When I first came to Penn State, um, I came from outside the Philadelphia area, and I was excited about coming to Penn State, but a little bit nervous about leaving my family behind. But once I moved into my floor and just met different people, it was it was fun. I mean, it was a little bit a little bit scary at first, but definitely it wasn't it was great in the long run. To succeed here, no one really gives you a rule book or a guide to how to succeed, but you have access to a tremendous amount of resources. You're really in an environment where you can do almost anything and chances are there's a professor or a program already in place to allow you to, to really take advantage of what you want to do. For me, the Honors College really prepared me for working in a, in a firm where you have a tremendous access to resources, but it's your job to put those resources together in the best way for your client. I immediately found friends living at Atherton Hall, and those are the same friends that I keep in touch with today. And in addition, you know, the small classes that in the honors program and just getting involved in activities that I was interested in really helped me find, uh, my, find my place pretty quickly. And I really got to interact with a lot of different types of people coming from different backgrounds and that was really valuable to me. Being in the Honors College definitely has allowed me to get all of Penn, what Penn State has to offer, giving me the opportunity to be in a larger um, university, but also kind of have some specialized personal attention that comes with being in the Honors College and some of those special opportunities that you might get at like an Ivy League school or also here at Penn State too. When individuals meet with someone from Penn State, their very first question to them typically is, were you in the Honors College? And they don't just say the Honors College, they say, were you in the Shrine Honors College? Because what they know when they meet someone from Penn State in the Honors College is that nothing was handed to you. You really worked and earned every grade and every opportunity you have. And so this component, this, this creation of a whole person, whether it be their international involvement or giving back to the community or just their downright hard work and, and smarts, is really regarded very highly. And there is no culture that is more willing to embrace individuals and people for their own interests and passions than the Schreier Honors College at Penn State.